Hey guys, I'm Krigo and this is Wasteland 2. Welcome, welcome, welcome! Couldn't find in the background. Dear Mr. Manners, this is Brian Finley. I'm calling from the old school at Jefferson and Six. I hate to be rude and I hope you'll forgive me <laughs> the interruption of this call. So very, very friendly, right? With gunfire on the background. Uh, lots of civility is to be expected in the stress, gentle caller. Please go ahead. What is the nature of your emergency? We've got some strange looking creatures out here firing at us. They're humanoid, but I don't think they're human. We've got a pretty good barricade up though, but if you could maybe see your way clear to sending over some bullets wine. Oh, God damn it! Sorry about the swearing, sir. If you could see your way clear to sending over some CEs, we'd be much obliged. Apology upside to gentle caller. You said the old school at Jefferson and Six. We'll have a team here of uh, there. Quickly, Head sir. Go ahead. What's up with the conversations, man? Why do I have to read the radio signals? It should be radio, right? One... <laughs> this is not faxing, right, you know? Roger, uh, Echo One. Don't know if you heard about a man right call, but it is called Be Your Chance. We have got fake rangers attacking a school and the Mennonites on the way. If we can show those prissy sons of bitches we are, uh, we are both fighting the same enemy, we might end this nightmare once and for all. We could also end in the crossfire, by the way. Sending the coordinates, confirm. Baldwin Hills. 10-4, Echo 1, get there ASAP. Not right, not yet, not yet. I kind of have a feeling that we do need the climbing boots. You know, is it just me or... Hmm. Have to do the mountain climbing boots with cramped attached. These might be useful if there was more than one place in the whole world where you need to climb something. And you haven't uh, been there in 25 years. Well, that is very interesting, right? You know, very interesting. But let's go and sell some more. Well, I actually wanted to go up north, right? You know, but let's help them out. Let's see how it goes. And let's pray to the Lord above. That we can get some of those Citadel boys, right, you know, on their turf when they are presenting to be yours, you know, ourselves. That will be very, very good. Mm hmm. Baldwin Hills, confirm. At least he said they do look human, though, but they are probably not humans. Could be aliens, it will be very funny. Alright, save the freaking game. Oh, 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 this is bad. Surrender in the name of the. Oh, fuck you, Rangers. This is Arizona. Oh. There we go. Oh, yes, my dude. Oh, boy. This is bad, though. Yep, this is very bad. There are so many of them. I want to do something else. Absolutely, freaking lootly, though. This is going to be fantastical, though, if we get it off. Whoppa, yeah, you know what I'm talking about right now, huh? Surrender in the name of the Desert Rangers. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, no, 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 no. Hoppa. Here we go. There we are. Everybody gone to oblivion. Yeehaw, boys! 850 experience! That is something I call sweet home. And no, we are not going to finish that meme, right? You know? Hoppa, there we go. <laughs> Fantastic, my dudes, though. Fantastic. Now, Rose, don't you have anything uh, to complain right now? I'm just saying, right? I'm just saying, Rose. Papa, let's go and leave that one. Never-ending story tip. We already had that. So, all right, Peggy. And... Oh! Iron Beamer. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Times two, though. That is not what we want, to be honest. Hmm. All right. Here we are, my boys. Here we are. Roger Lee. I taught younger man of a, a tough younger man with a mohawk, tattoos and a pitchfork in one hand. He eyes you rarely, Roger Lee. Why did you save us? Aren't you guys on the same team? Hard as we saved you for ourselves, runner, nobody gets hurt. We are not the same. Look, they're all children of the citadel in disguise. Holy crap, it was a frame up. They were trying to make us think they were you. So, uh, civility of forces, everybody, please. Now, okay, what's going on here? My goodness, another desert ranger attack. Wait, these rangers saved us. Look, the other ones are children of the Citadel in disguise. What? Can this be true? Why? Why? So it is. Those rangers aren't rangers at all. They are evolved. Indeed, my boy. Indeed. Can I get a hug right now and an apology? 
Please accept our apologies, General Rangers. We heard you were claiming the other Rangers' attacks were the work of the imposters, but we didn't believe you. Your actions here today protect these villains against your doppelgangers and save your reputation. We will be sure to tell everybody at H Oracle what happened. So you understand the threat of the Evolve now? Believe me. The children of the Citadel will no longer be welcome in our territory, and Mr. Menace will be actively speaking against them in the broadcast from now on. But fire spreading words about walking for mankind's future aren't going to fool us anymore. What about our reputation? From now on, you are a welcome guest on the, uh, at the Age of Oracle. We should already be, by the way, big boy, right? You know, and to make up for earlier mistrust, we will do our best to help you with anything you need. Just pay a visit and we'll do whatever we can. Before you go, why don't you take this book as a sign of an angel oracle welcomes the real rangers also. I can't bring it back home because it's full of nasty curse words. Okay, that is uh, very polite of him though to give something like that away. I'm just saying, I mean, that's kind of bad though if you think about it, but where is the book? Ah, Early Ermi, a yelling man's man, a story of the life and films of famed angry screamer Early Ermi, the man's ability to reduce others to a quivering jelly really comes true. Hard air skill, use himself. I don't think we had it on 10. I think we got back to, uh, what shall I say? Uh, 9. Now we have it. Yes. Now, my big boy, we want you to give this to Kurigo because we do not need this hard ass, I suppose. Up our skills. It's still 10, though. Yeah, hard ass and smart ass. But now, weapon is actually right at 6. So that's very cute, isn't it, though? Very cute indeed. A mechanical repair. We don't really care about it, though. But it does help out, does it not? Mm-hmm. Thanks again, Rangers. What is the save you have? Oh, and to show our appreciation for saving us from the fake Rangers, we were wondering if you'd be interested in the save we have. Um, it's a big old pre-war model, and we have never been able to get it open. If you can, you can have whatever uh, whatever's in it. As thanks for helping kill those crazy fourth bastards. Sure. Okay, it's in the compound. Tons folk, tons folk. Lots of town folk around here. Oh boy, look at this though, huh? You need it? I got it mostly. I highly doubt that though, but baby, you are correct. Not really. Sell the junk. All right, went on your way. When be sure to say goodbye. Then lock the door tight. Yeah, man, what a world we live in, huh? Locking the doors. I remember the time though. And this sounds weird, but I'm from Europe, right? You know, but we did not have to lock the door. No, 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 no. We barely did, though. Sometimes we had, uh, you know, uh, someone inside, though, but we didn't know that person, you know? And, uh, yeah, why not? That was very normal, by the way, right? You know? <laughs> uh, we don't need any healing, darling. You were just waiting for us to, uh, to come back, you know? It's fun, man. It's fun if that happens, you know? But back then, the people were different, yo. <clears throat> right now, if a friend would just be sitting there, I'd be like... My boy, you know, <laughs> you know, something like that. Metro bus should do. All right, interesting. We probably need some of these things later on. But wow, you know, uh, now I will be a little bit like weird, weirded out, right? You know, like, uh, what are you doing here, right? You know, like, uh, what's going on? <laughs> you know, like, uh, times have changed. Not for the better, Sally. This is Le Save. Now, we also have to sell some stuff again, right? Because we did pick up a way better sniper rifle for um, Ralphie. So, you know, that is what it is. Oh, my God. Another cat litter. Uh, we don't need it. But, oh, well. There we go. Man, these cat litters are very good to have, though. Uh, but right now, it's just overkill, one might say, right? You know, we don't need it anymore by a long shot. All right, we got some explosives here. I'm not sure if we are allowed to get this one, though, but... Oh, well, Kessera, Sera, whatever will be, will be. Hmm. Yeah, we will take that and we will take the junk because we can sell it directly. I really have to say, though, right, you know, that RPG really made me happy, though, huh? You could see what's in there. 
Um, yeah, Rose might get that one. Oh, by the way, yeah, Satur Kid. We don't really need the Satur Kid, though. Oh, well. But anyways, you know, it, it makes me happy. Uh, there we go again, huh? Making the logo there. But, uh, man, that would have been a long fight, huh? An RPG a day makes the demon go away. Uh, or the doctor stay away, right? That's also one. Echo one, this is on the way. Go over. Yes. Well done. Looks like the mana rights have finally seen the light. Heard them on their private frequency reporting back about the fake rangers and how we saved their asses. Mighty polite about the whole thing, I gotta say. Oh, yes, indeed. My only worry about all of this is that now that Matthias has lost the war of words, he's gonna try good old fashioned bullets. We may be looking at stronger synth attacks going forward. Yeah, probably too, huh? Regardless, you did a good job out there, Echo One. Santa Fe base out. Disappointing me, Los Oh boy. How can you fall from the desert rangers? Blatant propaganda. And they're outright lies. Who is this guy? I wonder truly, you though. If you continue to welcome the rangers and give them authority, you, this must be Hollywood, I think. A uh, combat! Nuns with guns! My god, that sounds like. A gay porn, doesn't it? Huh? <laughs> Brother Malediction, I hear you ask. Brother Malediction, who was this Luke Samson? Who was the man who we now call the Red Messiah? Who was our savior? Well, brothers and sisters, I'll tell you. Seventy-five years ago, Luke Samson was just another man. Lived right here in Hollywood. And yeah, is that so? Honest, he wasn't even a particularly good man. He was a scavenger, like so many are in these hard times, and known to drink and cuss and occasionally settle arguments with the help of a sledgehammer. Oh, no. But one night, one night, when he was digging in the rubble of a TV station down in Gower Gulch, he stumbled upon a video cassette was to change his life thinking hoping that it was some kind of pre-apocalypse pornography he found oh, himself no. a working vcr and popped it in it wasn't pornography brothers and sisters oh, 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 oh no no really it was salvation what luke samson had found was the last surviving record of the wisest prophet of the pre-apocalyptic age, the great James King. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Have you met the Mannerites, brothers and sisters? They sure are polite, aren't they? Nicest bunch of folks you're ever likely to meet. Got a smile and a howdy-do for everyone. <laughs> yes, indeed. But polite as they are, there is a fatal flaw beneath the surface of their courtesy. A dark secret behind their sunny dispositions. And do you know what it is, brothers and sisters? Yeah, the fan in Christ Almighty, huh? Not believe in God. True. Or do they believe in sin? True. Oh, their civility patrols walk around, protecting the weak and defenseless from the strong and well-armed. And that's mighty nice. I'll admit that. But would those same security patrols burn a cache of pornography to stop its poison from corrupting the world? Would they forcibly separate a couple who was about to engage in unmarried sex in order to save them from sin? Would they put a homosexual out of his what the misery fuck? and allow him to enter the kingdom of heaven? No. They would not. This is so much too such an old gay right, you know. They Today this will be so bad. Where they weren't wanted. Well, they're forgetting something. They're forgetting to ask what God wanted. The business of saving souls ain't got nothing to do with politeness, brothers and sisters. We gotta show sinners the error of their ways, whether they want us to or not. So 
The next time you see one of the Manorite civility patrols, remember that they are protecting sinners and turning a blind eye to perversion. They are the devil with a smiling face. And you know what we do with the devil, don't we? <laughs> That's right! We give them hell, brothers and sisters! We give them hell! Do not judge the sinner, because the same judgment will be judged upon thee! Indeed, protect them! For do not hate the sinner, but hate the sin! Yes! Alright, let's go though. But my god, alright, you know. It, these jokes, or these, these, these extremes, will be so banned in modern games. And that makes the modern games a little bit boring, right? Sometimes you will be like, hey, dude, what the fuck is going on here, right? You know, that makes it special. Doesn't mean that he meant anything by it or give a message or I've something. I've never seen such an open town. Yeah. Swambunski, huh? Let's see. Oh, no, let me guess. Swoop. <laughs> Alright, on a makeshift ESO crafted from a parking enforcement sign, the rest of a half finished landscape painting. Showing the Hollywood skyline set against the Hollywood hills. A brilliant orange sky illuminating deep green vines and twined shadow buildings as happy palm trees reach up towards the crimson ball of the setting sun. In the foreground, a woman with dazzling blue liberty spikes curb stomps the outline of a figure looking uh, like Sean's got a little work left to do. Man, you know, the Hollywood sign though, a lot of people love it though, but I always had a weird feeling about it a very weird feeling about it right you know because hollywood is really dark right you know we all know what happened with those special islands you know about one but there are plenty more out there right you know and they are not just in islands by the way um, but not just that the all scream the same message right you know that is something that you have to do if you hear a whole bunch of people screaming the same message you can say you have to do with a cult mentality right but the Hollywood sign, something very, very dark did happen there. Something very dark. And whenever I see that sign, I just have to link it to that. Not because of the sign itself, but still, right? And Holly means wicked, by the way. It's magic, right? You know? So Hollywood, it's like the, uh, the magic wand of a witch. Coincidence? I don't think so, by the way. Look past, try not to... Welcome to Hollywood. All right. Well, thank you. The cardboard cut of a man... Or an old-fashioned song and dance. Red boy, huh? Oh, condoms, my boy? You wouldn't think a beard and a tutu would go together. Oh my god, yeah, look at that. But somehow, red boy makes it work. No, not condoms. Bedrock, then tools, directions, snow gloves. How about this one? It's got many Chinese casinos being shored in tiny golden coins. What about souvenir condoms from Heidi's Hollywood Hideaway? Let's see the condoms. Uh, good choice. Keep your hands free while you're hydrated. What? Excuse. Whoa. L wow. Five LBS, two and a half kilos for that. What is that? A ride express? Oh my God. The boy, uh, the boy, boy magazines over here, right? Licking stick guaranteed. What the? A magazine about popsicles? Sounds Victorian. <laughs> oh my God. Why are there so many though, right? I mean. What are you going to do with- Oh my no, the snow globe, alright. Tell me about hi- uh, many Chinese uh, casinos. One snow blow, uh, globe coming up. Tell me about hi these. Uh, ah, the condom, vice choice, here you go. Okay. How about some directions? Sure, amigos, directions are free. What's the purchase of any other items? So uh, what it be? Condom, snow globe, bedrock? Ah. Oh. Okay, this guy, man. Sorry, folks. Gotta go talk to some paying customers. Sure thing, man. You do you. Ah, oh, I love this game, man. You know. Oh, I wish bitches would be here. Ain't got the time? Hmm. Ain't got the time for sending around. My dear sweet brother, Numsi. Roman right there, huh? Yeah. All right, interesting. Wanna come to my place? Lufa stretch marks. Mary? Whoa, what the... What is going on here? Stop, stiff, stop. Oh boy. Okay, we just had to kill him that way then, huh? My, my, my. These people were dying there. We have to reload, man. We have to learn how to reload. 
Oh boy. Now hopefully these pigs are not uh, on someone's uh, thing, right? You know? That will be bad. What are you ladies doing here? Now that's what over. Darlena's recalled uh, her farah and saw as beautiful as her perfectly scrubbed cheekbones. An absence of her warmth and kindness will make her our house. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let us pray that the man who did this, those vicious fruits of the God's militia, burn in hell they believe in so passionately. And may their cocks rot like a mouth of blood. Amen. <laughs> well, you know. Let's hope it happens, right? Because unjustified taking a life is a very bad thing. Oh my. Please don't uh, stick here. All right. There we go. Wow. These poor woman, man. They were attacked, though. Bacon, bacon. Bacon, bacon. Oh, no. Let's see. Darlene for a Plotsky, beloved sister. That's sad, man, you know. That's sad. Who is this? A plague at the base reads Facil uh, Facili or Benefactor. My muse, Hollywood wouldn't be here with you. Uh, with you. This area is much more well maintained than the surrounding graves. Hollywood wouldn't be here with you? It's like he... Uh, you know, I don't know, man. You know, seems kind of bad. So we dig up the grave there. I mean, just to see what it's all about. The tombstone is too worn out to read. Oh, Kelly Lee. Nah, let's not do it. Let's not do it. It's just bad for business, right? No you know. Thanks, piggies. We don't want any. Ten commandments of James King, huh? Lee. How can such savage-looking children be so mopey? Savage-looking children, huh? This is the People's Republic of Hollywood. No pigs allowed. What does the Republic of Hollywood uh, mean? This looks like a hobo jungle. Spoken like a true pig. This is the only true safe place in Hollywood. A shelter for the homeless and the runaways that all the rest of those slimy fucks prey on. We keep them safe from people like you. Let's yeah. get out of here. Well, there was some woman uh, a couple of meters further away being attacked by three pigs. Why didn't you do much, huh? Why do you call us pigs? Are you kidding me? The weapons, the badges, Never trust a uniform. That's my motto. You're nothing but another band of fascists. No different than oh my the God. or God's militia. Why don't you go beat up some junkies? I really do love games and lore in video games that have only extremes. It's so freakishly fun, right? You know, it, it, what, what do you know about the HCC? Hookers, casinos and crooks. Oh, I'm sorry. I always get that wrong. Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. They want us to think that they work for the welfare of all Hollywood, but they only protect their own business. They put all their money into keeping the tourists happy and fighting those gods militia freaks. There isn't one penny left over to help the people who actually live here. We can all go die as far as they're concerned. They really did their homework, right, with Antifa and, uh, you know, uh, anti-fascist groups here. Um, but it's very interesting, though. This barrel, that should be a little bit more, right? And this, that's not good enough. But three ladies and one guy? Yeah, seems like you got them hooked on something, huh? Uh, what do you know about God's Militia? The only good thing the HCC does is keep those wackos out of Hollywood. This town may be corrupt, but the Militia are religious fascists. They worship some sledgehammer messiah who preached that the only good sinner is a dead sinner. I'll be honest. They scare the shit out of me. Yeah, that's why you need people like me, though, instead of just sit sitting here singing Kumbaya and doing nothing at all about hobos. it. Boring. Yeah, indeed, indeed, boring. Not all hobos, by the way. Apple. Johnny Maloney. My God, it's my twin. Name's Johnny Maloney. You need a grave dig? Oh yeah. Hey, uh, could you help me with those with some beasties? You dig graves? That's my job, digging graves, making coffins too. If you need one, just tell me how big you want it and pay the price and I'll dig you something nice. What are beasties? Don't know what they are exactly, but they're sure making a mess of the place, tearing up the graves, eating the bodies. Ooh, damn, it's terrible. I can barely hold them back. I ain't even had a few a days. I'm so hungry I could eat a painting of a sandwich. Do you need help? Well, why not? You look like you're handy with a weapon. You clear out this little infestation of mine. Don't go messing with uh, untouched graves. You dig up any of my customers, I'll give you a couple of shots of a double arc bug. All right. 
come back to me when all of the firming cleared out and all my graves and molest and then I might throw in some extra. Alright, so let's go around fast. Job. I want to be protector of the dead. Try protecting the living first. Yeah, that's a normal calling though. But protecting the dead ain't a bad thing, by the way. Just saying, right, you know. I should have reloaded. I know, I know, I know. I was a second too late here. But yeah, protecting the, the, the living is a more noble cause, though. But the dead one, too. Once the living ones are, uh, are being taken care of, after all, you know, it gives a lot of closure to those, right, you know, that are still alive. To know that their loved ones are being cared for. Without that, though, man, you know, a lot of people are suffering a little bit psychologically. It's a sad thing, though, huh? It really, really is. Humans are very fragile, though, whether we like to admit it or not. All right. All right, that's kind of bad, though. We're losing lots of shots here. That's what I mean. Mm hmm. And that's about that. Ah, no! Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> oh, he still had his damn RPG. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Do you see this? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, boy. That was so close right there, huh? That was seriously way too close, man. All right. We are going with this one. It's a little bit better. Although the other one, right, you know, we can just do over and over and over and over. All right, let's go here. No alarm, nothing at all. And what do we get? Oh, boy. Oh, come on. Probably nothing really nice, right? Probably. Yeah, probably nothing nice. <laughs> I can see the future, my boys. All right, here we go. We want to sell some stuff, man. We are carrying, again, way too much crap the whole time, to be honest. Anything else around here that we might inspect? Nah, nothing, right? There are too many enemies around here. Woman and wo man, all right. Well, seems like Hollywood is a beautiful cesspool, apparently. I can't hear any more beasties out here. Well done, strangers. Let me get you that reward. Now, where did I put it? Goodbye, big dude. See you around, rangers. I want to be protector of the dead. Try protecting the living first. Oh, uh, Rose. He still has to follow his own uh, dreams, right? There. I'm getting told for this one. I come back to my bro, Luva Stretch Mark. What? 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 Luva Stretch Mark? And Luva, my. Str okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, the Luva, you know, for, for cleaning uh, shower stuff, you know. My, my, my. Nanu, Nanu. Interesting. It is... It is so weird, man, to be invited for something like that. To the weird syncopaths, man. Hmm. Is he some kind of cardboard cut out of a man? I don't know, I don't know. You tell me, huh? Hollywood is weird, my boys. But by that time, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy. And don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.